Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks a lot. We are all called to lift up each other in this nation to a place where the heart is without fear and the head is held high, where knowledge is free, where the world has not been broken up into fragments by narrow domestic walls, where words come out from the depths of truth, where tireless striving stretches its arms towards perfection, where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into the dreary desert sands of dead habit, where the mind is led forward by thee into ever-widening thought and action, into that heaven of freedom, my Father. Let our country awake. Amen. <laughs> Those literary scholars among us will recognize that poem from Ramandanath Tagore. He was the uh, poet laureate of India. He won the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1917, the year John Kennedy was born. He was a great friend of Gandhi. In fact, it was Tagore who gave Gandhi the name Mahatma, which means great spirit. He did not live to see India gain its independence. He died in 1940, which, if you're curious, is the year I was born. But in 1948, when uh, India was granted independence from Great Britain, they used one of his poems as the words for the Indian National Anthem. And I learned that poem in 1981 when I was in India uh, doing a part in the movie Gandhi. I see some of you uh, may remember that film. It was a great success everywhere. Uh, but nowhere was it a bigger success than in my community, in Hollywood. Go figure, in 1982, Gandhi won the Oscar as Best Picture, and it seemed that everyone in Hollywood uh, loved Gandhi. Everyone in Hollywood wanted to be just like Gandhi, thin, tan, and moral. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you will bear with me. I'm going through a bit of an identification crisis. See, as a uh, congresswoman... Uh, Jackie Spears mentioned a little while ago, I was involved with a, a series a few years ago from um, uh, uh, the fall of 1999 until the spring of 2006. I was affectionately known far and wide as the acting president of the United States. And <laughs> then, uh, then, of course, uh, it all fell asunder in the spring of 06, uh, and since then I have become affectionately known far and wide as the uh, former acting president <laughs> of the United States, and it's not easy getting used to such a, uh, a downtrend. In fact, just coming over here yesterday at LAX, as I boarded the plane, I was greeted by a fellow passenger, good morning, Mr. President, Air Force One in the shop, <laughs> all through the ride, there was an ancient couple seated behind me. Neither one of them had a clue about who I was, but both insisted that they did. And halfway through the flight, this ancient woman said to her equally ancient partner, no, 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 he is not Emilio Estevez's brother. He is Charlie Sheen's son. We landed, and as we were walking towards the baggage compartment, two little pre-teen girls, pre girls came running up to me, and they were all excited and said, Oh, sir, we love you. You're our favorite person in all the world. Please, please, could we have your autograph? Of course, I said, and I signed two autographs. And they walked away. I heard one say to the other one, I can't make out his handwriting. Who did you say he was? <laughs> You know, it, the older I get, it seems I get more forgetful, and uh, I've been in the Bay Area uh, quite often, uh, and I may have met some of you, uh, and know you, of course, but I may not remember your name or where I know you from, and uh, I beg you, please, do not be offended. Uh, I need to share in that regard just a, a, a brief story. Um, it is terribly embarrassing, but uh, it'll make the point, and... Uh, you will understand not to take it personally if I do not remember you. About 10 years ago, 
I was invited to uh, speak at a, um, a an event uh, at a very posh home in Beverly Hills, you know, where the overprivileged live. And uh, I got there late on a Saturday night and couldn't find a parking spot and had to park uh, blocks and blocks away. And by the time I found the house and got back there, I, I, the, the supper was ended and they were all in the living room. Uh, and in fact, uh, 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 Steve Allen was entertaining on the piano. And the hostess said, oh, thank God you're here. Listen, uh, we've already...